And they could be dark, light, oval, square, cheap, or expensive. Whatever your preference, sunglasses are about as abundant here as our days of sunshine. But not all sunglasses are created equal. We sent Target 7's Lauren Zakalik to find out just how much you have to pay to properly protect your eyes and what you need to look for when picking the perfect pair. What we found may surprise you. We're blessed here in New Mexico with more than 300 days of sunshine a year. But the rays aren't all good news. So here at roughly a mile above sea level, just, just walking outside compared to someone at sea level, you, you're already at a 10% increased risk of having damage from ultraviolet exposure. That's why so many people shell out loads of cash to get a good pair of sunglasses. As soon as uh, the sun hits my eyes, I put them on. But does a shocking price tag or name brand glasses guarantee your eyes are better protected than, say, a pair you pick up at the drugstore? Target 7 set to find out, enlisting local eye surgeon Dr. Stephen Coleman to help. We brought a lot of these sunglasses to you guys, a wide variety between a dollar to maybe $25, $30. See what kind of bang we can get for our buck. Pair by pair, we showed Dr. Coleman our picks, purchased from places like Walmart, Kmart, CVS, and the Dollar Tree. He starts with some advice. Pay close attention to the sticker on the lens. What it does or doesn't say will tell you a lot. Take this $1 pair, for instance. This one is labeled ultraviolet protection, which is, is fairly vague. Labels should at least say they protect 100% UVA and UVB rays. And the most widespread coverage, UV 400. This $5 pair from Walmart says it provides 100% UV protection, but what kind? It's a little bit vague. Yeah, really what you're looking for is the UV 400 to really to be confident that you're blocking the entire spectrum. But the thrifty need not worry. We found an $18 pair from CVS that blocks 100% UVA UVB rays. Same with this $6 pair on sale from Kmart, an even better deal. But this pair, which could run you nearly $100 retail, didn't even have a label. From a UV protection standpoint, they're probably not the way to go. Shockingly, the single pair we found with UV 400 coverage, the best you can get, cost just pocket change. Well, this is one of the better pairs of glasses you could choose. Yes, from a perspective of UV protection. I got this for a yeah, dollar exactly. at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, yeah. So proof that you don't always necessarily have to pay a lot of money. You can still protect yourself pretty well. You're exactly right. Coleman says this doesn't necessarily mean the cheaper the better. Oftentimes, pricier designer sunglasses fit closer to the face, blocking the sun's rays from getting into your eyes, like this pair of Revos, about $250. Polarized lenses do block bright reflections, and gradient lenses, which get lighter towards the bottom, they help for driving. But Coleman says if you don't wear at least something, you could face early onset cataracts and macular degeneration. The key is to find a pair of sunglasses that you think looks good, protects your eyes, and allows you to see really well. The real lesson here, the doctor says, is it doesn't matter if it's a $2 pair of sunglasses or a $200 pair of sunglasses. As long as you have something protecting your eyes when you go outside, you are better off than if you have nothing at all. For Target 7, I'm Lauren Sakalik. And another good tip for buying sunglasses, if someone can see your eyes through the glasses, they're likely not dark enough and won't provide the proper amount of protection.